Does methylene blue impact lifespan? To address that, let's take a look at pooled ITP data, and the ITP is the Interventions Testing Program, which is the gold standard for evaluating lifespan in mice. And one reason why they're the gold standard is because they run survival experiments, lifespan studies, at three different test sites. University of Michigan, the Jackson Lab, and at the University of Texas Health Science Center at San Antonio, and then they pool that data and they use a ton of mice. So jumping into the data, we'll look at data for males first, and on the y-axis we've got survival plotted against age in days. And then notice that we have our two groups, the controls in the blue triangles and methylene blue in red. Methylene blue was fed in the intervention group at 28 milligrams of methylene blue per kilogram of food starting at four months. To evaluate survival, first let's take a look at median survival. This is 0.5 survival. This is the time when half of the mice are alive and half have died. And what we can see is that there was no impact for methylene blue on median lifespan in male mice, as that p-value is greater than 0.05. What about the data in female mice? So same setup, survival on the y-axis plotted against age on the x. We put up that line at 0.5 survival, 50% survival, and here too, no impact for methylene blue on median lifespan as the p-value is greater than 0.05. So for both data in males and females, using the ITP again as the gold standard for evaluating survival and lifespan in mice, methylene blue did not impact, did not extend median lifespan. But what about maximal lifespan? So to address that, they looked at 10% survival or 0.1 survival. This is the time when 90% of the mice have died and only 10% are still alive. In male mice, there was no significant impact of methylene blue on maximum lifespan as the p-value is 0.06. And if we're really being uh, technical with the details, you can see that the lifespan curve for methylene blue has actually shifted a bit to the left, which is going in the wrong direction. But the p-value is 0.6, we can't, they're not significantly different. There was no impact from methylene blue on the lifespan of male mice. But what about in female mice? So same, same setup, we put up that line at 0.1 survival. And here, interestingly, methylene blue in female mice led to a 6% longer maximal lifespan. And you can see that that p-value is less than 0.05. If you've ever wondered what's optimal for biomarkers, we'll have a new Patreon tier dedicated just to that. Beyond reference ranges, it focuses on what may be optimal for the 29 biomarkers on this list with more than two hours of video content on Patreon that includes references from 45 published papers. So if you're interested in that, check it out. If you're interested in more about my attempts to biohack aging, I also post at least twice a day for in these five Patreon tiers. And before you go, we've got a whole bunch of discount and affiliate, affiliate links that you can use to test yourself that help support the channel including ultalabtest.com, which is where I get the majority of my blood tests done, the clearly filtered water filter, which I, I'm currently using and I have no plans of stopping that anytime soon, at-home metabolomics, oral microbiome composition, NAD testing with Ginfinity, epigenetic testing, at-home blood testing with Cyfox Health, which includes DNA Grimage, DNA methylation test Grimage, green tea, diet tracking with Cornmeter, or if you'd like to support the channel, you can do that with the website Buy Me A Coffee. We've also got merch, so if you're interested in wearing the Conquer Aging or Die Trying brand, as I've got on here, that link and all the other links will be in the video's description. Thanks for watching. I hope that you enjoyed the video. Have a great day.